Hello. Hey, this is going to be a quick video on how to bend custom uh, sheet metal shrouds or any custom sheet metal part you might want to do. I ran into a problem with this retrofit on this door. We had an issue with the hand hold and the shroud that was around it was too shallow. You, you go in and you hit your knuckles. So what I had to do was take the old shroud off, use it as a template and make it just a touch bigger and put it back on. Here's the finished piece. Here's what we started with. Please stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Here you can see the flattened piece that I used for a template along with the new sheet uh, metal that I'm using to make the new part. Now I flattened out an original piece and made a template out of it, but you could just draw one up and transfer it over to sheet metal yourself. I didn't get a lot of footage of me bending the actual shroud, so I'll show you my setup here on a piece of scrap metal. What I did is I had to follow a quarter inch radius, so I took a piece of uh, plywood and used my router and put a quarter inch radius on that. And placing the plywood in my vise, and by doing so it allowed me to take a sheet of metal, place it on with an extra wooden block here. And yes, it was as much fun with the actual shroud. So. There we go, and there we go. You got a set like that. I used another piece of plywood as a backer, placed it on like so, and bent. The plywood with the radius routed into it allows the metal to follow the contour and leaves me with a nice bent piece of metal like that. And that's pretty much the process I used for the shroud. So here I have some footage from the actual shroud and its bending process. Right there you can see me uh, releasing it. I had to raise it up a little bit so that when I bent it over, the ear from the one side wouldn't hit the anvil portion of the vise. Right here I'm just comparing the size difference. There's the template I had made out of the uh, original piece. And just right here is the difference between the two pieces. That's the finished piece right there. Okay, so let me see if I can get both these in the shot. There is the original shroud, which I had to flatten out and use as a template for the new shroud. I was able to line up holes and get the actual shape by using that as a template once I flattened it out. The original handle on this retrofit, it wouldn't allow enough room for your hand to go up in there like that. See how nice and smooth the hand goes in now? Before it would catch a knuckle. Okay, so I hope this video has been able to show you what you can do with limited tools. You don't necessarily need a bender or anything fancy, you know, special drills or anything like that. You can just take a piece that you have, flatten it out, trace it, transfer the holes, cut it out, throw it in a vise with a piece of wood, and you're bending. You're making custom sheet metal pieces. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thanks. See you next time.